YouTube, it's Kim and it's way in Wednesday. I lost one pound this week, making my total 105. Yay! So I'm back to that 105 pound milestone and I could not be more excited. Wanted to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for coming to check out my channel from the Fit and Fab Full Collab. Quick intro, I'm a 37 year old wife and mom living on Long Island, New York. I work for a school five days a week when school is in session. I love life. I love good food. I try to be positive. I love Weight Watchers. And that's pretty much me in a nutshell. Speaking of the Fit and Fab Fall collab, if you like fall things, you have to check out all the videos that the awesome ladies I'm about to tell you about did. The playlist link is below. Be sure to check them all out. Kristen from Mrs. Kristen G made a beautiful fall wreath. Jane the Mucho Mama showed you how to make delicious buffalo wings in her air fryer, low smart points. Brianna from Diva and the Divine just did an epic Trader Joe's pumpkin haul and included all the smart points. Jess from Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy shows you three low point pumpkin treats. Molly from WW Wifey shows you an awesome fall haul. She has the best style. Cherie from Motivated Muffins did a fall tag with some fun fall questions. Tracy from The Way I See It showed us a pumpkin cream cheese brownie recipe. Madi from Diva Pulse reviewed a Jessica Smith program. Sandy from Let's Get Fit made a delicious chicken pot pie. Jess from Bless Jess did a skinny pumpkin spice latte. Tammy from Healthy Girl showed you her full favorites and Gina Pearson showed you some of her full decor. So it was an awesome roundup of just full fabulousness. So check out those videos down below if full is your thing. So getting back to my weight loss this week, I was so happy being down one pound. We were away for two nights, three days. We went to an indoor water park in Pennsylvania called Kalahari. I made great choices. I had a couple planned indulgences. I tracked everything. Me and my mom shared most of our meals. You know, of course we had a lot of activity, walking and, and being active in the water park. So I am like beyond excited because you guys know I struggle when I go on vacation and I'm just so proud of myself. So this week's weekly is about shifting your thinking. I love this topic. I feel like when you get this part of the program down, you are just setting yourself up for success because when you shift your thinking, it just makes all the difference with your program. The biggest change in thinking that I personally have done is I'm not all or nothing anymore. Just because I had a high point day, just because I had a week of binging, it doesn't stop me from going to my meeting, it doesn't stop me from weighing in, I just continue on. When I first started back in March of 2015, I made a commitment to myself that I was gonna go to my meeting every single week and weigh in no matter what. And of course, sickness or vacation, I don't make it, but I make a point to go to my meeting no matter what. And it's okay if you gain when you weigh in. I feel like you get so much motivation and you get to hit that reset button at your meeting and it just you know, propels you to have a good week. I love what my leader told me, my old leader, Lori, who I still, I miss her so much. In one of our first meetings together, she gave an analogy about going on a road trip you know, if you start out in New York and you're driving down to Florida and somewhere around the Carolinas, you get lost, you know, you, you lose your way, you don't just say, okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go back to New York. No, you use your tools, you use your GPS, you find a map, you ask someone, you get back on the road and you get to Florida. So let's do that with our weight loss. Just because you have a bad week, just because you have a stumble, it's not all, all or nothing, it's okay. Just hop back on and keep going. So I have come to accept the fact that I'm not gonna lose big numbers every week. I mean, I've been on this journey since March of 2015. Some weeks I kill it. I mean, I do my activity, my food's on point, and I lose point too, and that's okay. All the small losses add up. So people who are just starting out, don't be frustrated if you have small losses, just keep going, they add up. With 
cake or sweets or indulgences, I have learned that I can have just one piece. I can have just one donut and move on. Just because I'm having a donut doesn't mean I have to have three. It's like I satisfy the craving, I track the points, and I move on. Also, let's face it, when you have cake or cheesecake, after the first couple of bites, it doesn't taste as good as the first bite. So have a couple bites, enjoy it, track it, and move on. So I read something on Facebook this week that there's this Facebook woman on Facebook who's just so amazing. I actually wanted to ask her if I could share something she wrote on my video, but I didn't have a chance to do that before today. But I will ask her and hopefully I can share with you next week. But I am in the gray now. It's no longer black and white. So I'm not all or nothing. I don't have to be perfect. I actually like not being perfect. It's like the pressure is off. So come be in the gray with me. So have you changed your mindset? Are you struggling a little bit with your mindset and want to change it? Let me know down below. What have you changed or what do you want to change? You know I love talking to you guys. This week's subscriber question of the week comes from Corina Gonzalez. She asked, did you lose all your weight on Smart Points? No, I did not. Like I said before, I restarted, I always say for the last time, March of 2015. So from March of 2015, to December of 2015, I was on Points Plus, which I loved, and I lost 58.8 on Points Plus, and with Smart Points, I have lost 46.2. So that's pretty good, making my total 105. So it doesn't really matter what program you're on, just as long as you are on a program that you can maintain the rest of your life. And I am in this for life. I hope you guys are in this for life. I wanna do it together with you. So thank you, Karina, for your question. If anyone has a question for me, please put it down in the comments below and I will answer it in a future video. Thank you so much for checking out my video today, guys. Hope you have a wonderful week. Stay fit and fabulous. Bye.